Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, and we have a very special guest with us today. It's me, Mr. X. You're damn right. Let's crack into another Oh, one. guys. So, I want to tell you about something I saw the other day, and I just want to get you, I'd get your opinion on this. I, so, I was, I was uh, at a stoplight, and there was three people walking across the street in front of me. I'm not sure if they were homeless, but they looked a little rugged. Yeah, they were they were like a little unkempt. Like they um, had a five o'clock shadow, and they were like like a, just they looked like their clothes had been on for about a week, you okay. know that kind of thing. Like they they looked disheveled a little bit. They were walking. They had face tats. Okay. Um, and the one guy had on a neck brace. Okay. Okay. But and like at first I looked up and I was like, oh man, that guy's a neck brace. That sucks. But then I noticed this, as he was walking across the street. He kept turning his head and talking to his friend. So he had the neck brace on, but it was on loose enough that he could literally still turn his head and talk to his friend. And then I'm like, so is that just like, is that the new thing? Like you're wearing neck braces is around? The new thing? <laughs> or like, is that like he had it on tight and then he loosened it up when he was walking? It, I don't know, Mr. Man. X, I don't know where he comes up with this stuff. I'm, I'm not I gonna... saw it in person. <laughs> I saw it in person. I don't. I don't know what to say about I this. I don't either. Now. I don't either. Um, I'm going to say first off. I'm going to say is that I probably don't take uh, fashion advice from the rugged guy. The rugged guy. Yeah, right. I think ragged. No, either either way. Sure, he was rugged. <laughs> the homeless adjacent. Yeah, homeless yeah. adjacent. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm not taking any fashion advice from him. No, the trend. house impaired. Yeah, I'm not taking trend advice from him. I'm not going to ask him what the hot new album is. I don't but care. the hot new album is. I don't care. I should have rolled down my window and asked him that. Yeah, I don't care what side he stands on between the Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj beef. Yeah, what he thinks I, about the immigration at the border. I don't think that he has. I think that if you meet somebody who is wearing a neck brace in public and they turn their head to talk to somebody, I think that tells a lot about that individual and their lifestyle right there. That's. I mean, that was my thought. I was like, what is he doing? Well, just because I mean, well, hold on. Just because you have a neck brace on doesn't mean you can't turn your head. Like he, he could be in the late stages of something healing. You have you ever worn a neck brace? I have not. I mean, you you know more about this than me, but <laughs> I, I I I've had spine surgery. Yeah, yeah and yeah. you know, and and motion as you can still get motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I didn't have to wear a brace, but it was like. I don't know much about neck braces. Either. But neck braces normally keep your head straight and you have to like turn your whole body. He was literally like you could see his his neck turn his head was turning. Like neck braces keep your vision to the front. No, they just supposed just for alignment more than anything. Yeah, cuz you it's don't want, you don't want you don't want to like turn like bend your head. You want to keep it straight. But they don't want to put you on like those halo things where they like, have the ring around here the and cage. around your head. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just ignorant to the abilities of a neck brace, but it wasn't one of the foam ones. It was one of the form-fitting ones that like supported the jaw and everything. Bro, he probably found that ish. <laughs> he probably <laughs> just found it. Given who you're saying it was, I'm kind of with TNT yeah. on this one. He may have just found that like or or maybe grabbed it off an ambulance. Yeah, yeah. grabbed it off an ambulance. <laughs> that's not, that's so not, he, he's that's like, not. "We're here. We need some support." God damn it! Yeah. Another ragged stole my neck brace More, again. Maybe it's just one of his many treasures and possessions. His you know, treasures. You know, <laughs> he, he could be keeping his weed in there. Like, oh, he has a little a pocket in his neck yeah, brace. It's a good idea. He's like, a little baggy. No, in no there. one's gonna look in here. Exactly. Right? What would you keep in your neck brace if you had one, Jonas? Huh? Uh, what would I keep? In it, my yeah. neck. Okay, that's a good no, idea. No, that, you, 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 you got to keep. You got to keep. What are you going to keep in there? You keep pe <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Maybe some change. Your like car your, keys. Your cash. The car keys. Yeah. A small right. mouse that you could feed cheese to. Oh, mm -hmm. a little birdie. Mm -hmm. Parrot. Mm -hmm. You could you could run so, the you could run the wire from your uh, Apple headset oh, you know, down through. Maybe the neck he break. had an Apple headset and he was trying to keep the he was trying to keep the cord yeah. from getting in the way. The only way to do it is to put a neck. Could brace be new on. tech. Could be the Apple neck neck brace. Yeah, and it it, it, it the Apple neck. Brace. It just like vibrates into your mind what's going on or some shit. Every time, yeah, you can't get Patent your phone pending. out because you have a Mr. problem, X. but it'll vibrate and let you know you got a text message. That's right. That's right. All that's right. right. What is have you guys? ever seen anything wild when, at like while you're parked at a red light i have another one if y'all <laughs> uh, go, go i actually have three so <laughs> i was driving home in an uber one time okay. and i was downtown 
And there was, I was, uh, we stopped at a stoplight. It wasn't super late. It was maybe like, it was after 11, but it wasn't like two o'clock in the morning. And there was a guy and he was, he had his hands on either side of like a trash can. He was puking into the trash can and his friend was behind him dry humping him while he was puking in the trash can. And I was like, I cannot believe that I'm seeing this right now. I was like, that guy's a dick. Like, if your friend was puking in the trash can, is that the moment to dry hump him? I'm pretty sure that dry humper was as shit faced as, as puke pukey boy was, and neither <laughs> one of them knew were were in their right pukey mind. Boy and dry humper. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that, that's my new nickname for both of you. I don't know. You get you get to fight over which one gets pukey which. Boy and dry humper. I love that. I want I want a show. I want the pukey, pukey boy, boy and dry, dry humper, humper hour. Show. There you go. Oh, we, we write write this and sell it to Paramount. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Da, da, da. So, have you guys seen anything wild in the streets? Bro, I don't know. I, I, I all the time, man. We're, yeah. we're living the world, living the life down here in yeah. this part of the Austin, Texas. Yeah, and, Austin, Texas. You're gonna see some crazy ish, but crazy I, you know, shit. I kind of just tune it out, man. You know, I, you know, I've been to New York City and Cleveland and Florida. I've lived, Jesus, man. Yeah, I just tune that ish out anymore. Like I, I could see some wild ish, and I just be like, all right, sure. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 that's the hard part. I think we're calling it right. It's like I know I've seen, I've seen all kinds of wilds. Well, I mean, let's talk about. We're, we're, have you guys? Were you guys here by the time Leslie was still around? I was not, but I okay. heard all. Of, I think I don't know when that happened. When uh, Leslie died, but I've heard. Who is Leslie? Then. Okay, so Leslie was a guy. He was a fixture around Austin for a long, long time. Okay, he pretty much wore a thong and nothing else anywhere. He anytime he went anywhere. Oh, like, and he, or he or he he was he was a he would dress up in lots of vibrant women's clothes or, okay. or like he was just kind of a, he was always on Sixth Street and he kind of, and I th I can't remember if he was home I think he was homeless or like like in it like homeless sometimes I don't homeless know homeless like, adjacent homeless adjacent maybe okay. but okay. but like like he was just a fixture like and was always just around right and like. Everyone knew who Leslie was. Like he, dude, he ran, ran for like somebody ran him for mayor one year. Like wow. it was like, but and and I remember one late some lady moved like befriended him and moved him into her house over in the fancy part of the town. Yeah, and yeah. All the neighbors got pissed and like were trying to sue her because That's they moved crazy. this crazy guy in there next to him. And like I don't know, he he was just, but he was Leslie. But you'd see him and you'd be like, like the first time you see him, you're sh you're kind of like, holy, what the hell? Yeah, what am I looking yeah, yeah. at? And then at the, you know, growing up here. I was just going, oh, it's Leslie again, whatever. You know, it's very crazy. So he was like, he was a local legend. Yeah, and very he, much. He made himself a local legend just yes. by being himself, apparently. Yeah. Just like, being he, he was out there. His way. Wikipedia says he was an American homeless man, peace activist, cross-dresser, urban outdoorsman, and outspoken critic. Oh, and it cuts off. So he was kind of just like, but I think he used to stand downtown and talk too, right? Didn't he talk a lot of stuff? Uh, probably. I never heard him, but he would hang around. Like, oh, six. outspoken critic of police treatment of the homeless. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he. It's very funny that you bring this guy up. When I was living in New York, we had a very similar thing. There was a guy who would always have a purse, and it was obviously a little bit. It was back, so it was a different era, and it was just like everybody knew that that was the guy with the purse, and everybody treated him well around the neighborhood. He could go into places and get free stuff. You get free haircuts at my barber shop all the time. It was it was just he was known as that guy with the purse. I can't remember his name. And when you started telling the story of Leslie, I started getting like images of that guy, and I was like, he had a very similar uh, relationship with the community. Mm -hmm. Well, there's another and there's another guy here in town, or was I haven't seen this guy in forever. But I used to see him at the the, the trail around the mm -hmm. lake downtown, right? Mm -hmm. And this dude would this dude would ride his bike in a thong. Okay. And like the banana, like not even banana, him like just barely covering his junk. Oh. Thread through the ass, okay. like just thong. And so you'd you'd be like walking or running down at the lake, and this dude would just ride by, and you'd be like, what "The fuck? Oh, oh, okay." That would shock me every time I saw him. Like I was just like, "Oh, there's some dude's balls in my face." Yeah, like, that's cool. I guess. Where I are we mean, are? what do you do? Yeah. What do you do when that's there's that? You you laugh and you move on because yeah. that's that's the world we live in. But you tell us saying crazy <laughs> shit, you're like, "Well, yep." Okay, yeah. cool. Do you? I'm not saying is I was like, do you, brother? I don't care. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Now that I have kids, I don't have kids when I see these people. But yeah. now that I have kids, I'm like, I don't really want my kids seeing that. I'm not but, tackling them to the ground and telling. Oh, them I'm to not going to do anything about it. it. Yeah, he tackling he, him and tell him to put on pants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not doing it. You used to have to do it with Jonas. You don't have to do that with everybody else. Yeah. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I don't know, man. There's some wild stuff going on out here. I just wanted to ask y'all's opinion. Well, I'm going to go get my neck brace out of the car and put it on. I put think. it on later. Hey. So that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and Mr. X. Uh, we out.